Welcome back to Diary of a Speed Reader. Today's book is Artificial Intelligence by Charles Jenner, and I'm giving it five stars. This week's books are all on data and AI. That's actually the primary area that I've been researching. Charles Jennings is a practitioner and he's got some really very direct things to say, but I love the way he says it. This is probably one of the more approachable and non-sensational books uh, that, I, that I think is actually quite spot on. And I'm gonna give you three things that were my takeaways. Before we get into that, as many of you know, the YouTube station is a new thing for me and it would mean a lot if you would go to YouTube. If you're watching on Instagram, there's a link in my bio. If you're already on YouTube, just click subscribe. Um, it would mean a lot to me to get your support on that. Now let's get into the things that I thought made this book fantastic. The first thing has to do with the fact that this book provides real practical advice on what he would think is the best course of action for us individually as well as from a policy perspective. And I really appreciate that having read so many AI books that go spinning off into doomsday AI land. I'm not saying that there aren't real concerns, but here he says, look, a lot of countries have a legit AI policy underway. That's not happening in the United States and therefore we're missing a lot of coordination. Additionally, there's talk that often is exactly the opposite of what you'd want to do if you're trying to avoid a doomsday scenario. All of this is really important to get out there and to have people understand. From an individual perspective, there's actually a tremendous amount you can do even if you're not the uber technical of the world. I think that if you care about that sort of thing, this is one of the better books to read up on it. The second has to do with its treatment of China. And I gotta say, I've reviewed tons of articles and tons of like very well-meaning pieces by some of the major firms out there. And a lot of them just get it wrong when it comes to China. Jennings absolutely gets it right. And it makes sense. He's such a, uh, an amazing practitioner in the field. You know, China's strategy, he actually goes through it as relates to numerous areas of what they're setting up in the way of infrastructure build and how they're going to strategically approach it from a global perspective. It's scary, but it's something that needs to be discussed, especially as we think about American foreign policy as relates to AI or even American domestic policy. Some of the infrastructure builds cannot be done simply at a corporate standpoint, but has to be a bit more coordinated and voted on by the people. Um, I think this is so important as we move into 2020. Now the last thing which was just helpful for me as a bit of a neophyte was the idea that there is this way that we had been approaching AI which is modeling it after the way experts think and that distinctly changed into now what we're doing which is modeling how the brain actually works. Now I kind of understood this but I think he clarifies it so well and I think too he introduces concepts like swarm intelligence and that's the idea that you know, machines collaborating with each other, humans collaborating with each other, and then machines collaborating with humans and also machines. It's kind of a fascinating way to think about where things can go, including what uh, it means for humans to be a part of all of that. Now, above and beyond everything else, the reason I gave this book five stars is because it has one of the best frameworks for thinking about AI that I've seen thus far across all of the books that I've read on the topic. So real kudos. It would be awesome to try to meet this person at some point. I don't know if that's possible. Speed reading stats. This book is 213 pages. It took me 41 minutes to read. If you'd like to learn more about speed reading, feel free to comment below. Uh, I really want to express appreciation for the New York Public Library. I know they are working very hard to fulfill the extra capacity that's gone on to the system. We got to support our public libraries. Um, and I will see you tomorrow.